I trust that you're doing well. Welcome to Miss Fountain channel. I go to destination for insightful and engaging education content. Here we explore a range of topics from science and history to technology and beyond. Prepare to expand your knowledge, inspire your curiosity by carefully crafted videos. Subscribe now and join us on our journey of discovery. In today's session, we're going to look at chromatography. We want to introduce what chromatography is. The faces that are involved, as well as the various types of chromatography. We're also going to look at its disadvantages as well as advantages. To begin with, chromatography is a separation technique of a mixture based on differential partitioning of sampled components between a mobile and stationary face. When it comes to mobile phase, this is the solvent that flows through the supporting medium. The stationary phase is a layer of, of, uh, is a layer of coating on the supporting medium that interacts with the analyte. We have the supporting medium. The supporting medium is the solid surface on which the stationary phase is bound or coated. Going to look at the basics of chromatography and the first is the mixture contains an analyte also introduction of the mixture of analyte onto the chromatographic system which is then taken up by the mobile face with the analyte gradually moving along the same direction as the mobile face. If it has no interaction with the stationary face, it will run right through and come out that is a load with the mobile face. If an analyte has no interaction with the mobile face, it will stick directly onto the stationary face and not a load. If the analyte has various constituents, they will travel at different speeds, causing them to separate and elute at various times. And these interactions are usually chemical in nature, but may be physical in some cases. In a well-designed chromatographic process, selection is of stationary and mobile faces that have at least some interactions with the analytes. I'm going to look at an overview of a chromatographic process. In this, we have direct preparation of a solution and extraction from a raw material using solvents, followed by a chromatographic run. Then we have detection, followed by identification. Detection on Paper chromatography, we or even thin day chromatography may require may require exposure to UV rays, which makes the spots of interest for us. Um, maybe spraying with a chemical reagent, which will color them. Chromatography is the cornerstone of separation science. The branch of chemistry devoted to separating compounds from mixtures. Planar in uh, column chromatographic techniques are ideal for quick screening and separation processes. And to look at categories of uh, chromatography, we have analytical, which determines the presence and chemical composition of a sample and which is applied in forensics, academics, medical, as well as uh, research fields of preparative, which samples are purified in collection of one or more components enabled. And the basics, the major classification of the methods are based on uh, mobile faces, that is 
the gas of in gas of liquid chromatography as well as uh, attractive faces that is so the first one is absorption and also partition it's important for on that it's important to note that adsorption involves the interaction between the analyte and the solid phase e.g. silica gel aluminium oxide yeah primarily used in the chromatography and partition involves the interaction of the analyte of interest with the liquid or solid stationary phase it's also important to note that identification of substances under analysis using thin layer chromatography is based on the comparison of the retention factor value of samples to those of uh, known standards. Retention or uh, literation or retention factor is the distance traveled by the component of interest from the application points divided by the distance traveled by the solvent from the application point in uh, it's important to know that in ion exchange the stationary phase is ionic and the ions are separated on the basis of their displacement by the counter ions from our analytes which are absorbed instead when it comes to size exclusion chromatography this provides separation of the analyte of interest from a solution as a result of trapping these molecules in the pores of a solid phase. We to look at advantages of chromatography. It is fast. That is quick and versatile process which can be carried out in the in the fields it's also a powerful separation technique this is a general general chromatography without getting into any category and the disadvantages are it's not a powerful identification technique because it doesn't provide a molecular identification also if two components do not have a do not have different distribution coefficients they cannot be chromatographically separated in some mobile phases yeah that's all we had to introduce chromatography stay tuned as we